Uh, another day at the shop, I guess. Why not? That's where we spend every day. Anyway, so I had the uh, guy stop by for this mower here, the neighbor there, and uh, trying to figure out what we're going to do with it. It's not getting the spark that we need it to, so I guess we're going to be replacing the coil on it. Now, that's going to cost some money because it's a cow. Sucky. Anyway, so today we're going to be doing the top end on the plier scrambler. Uh, as you remember last night, cleaned up all the stuff. Cleaned up the block, cleaned up the cylinder and all that good stuff. So she's all nice and shiny now. No surprises, which was good. I finally, when I was cleaning everything up yesterday, I finally found a serial number and all that good stuff. So I'm going to check it again, see if this is the original block, and uh, just take it from there. But that's pretty good. At least I found the serial number. But then we get the cylinder up here. Uh, we're going to be honing this out today. i got to actually check to make sure I get the right pads on. Yep, those will be fine. So it'll be in and out, in and out. Should work pretty good. Pull this out. Everything came out pretty clean, i got to say. I'm happy with it. I was expecting it to be, you know, a little bit more dirty than what it is, but it's pretty clean. Uh, I noticed one thing I gotta do is file down uh, a couple of the nicks on here and here from where the connecting rod was hitting. Uh, just from bouncing around and moving around, so that's not too bad, but we can fix that. Nothing major. Um, but everything seems to be pretty good, so we'll start, you know, building her up and taking her from there. Awesome. Alright, so as I've gotten done with in the past few minutes here, or at least about an hour anyway, I got the piston, the wrist pin, and all the good stuff, the clips and stuff on now. So we're looking pretty good there. Pulling the cylinder, it's looking pretty damn nice right now. I first used a medium just to get the old stuff off, and then I went to a finer. I had to run down to the AutoZone, get another replacement one. Because I didn't have the fine. I thought I had the fine, but I guess I didn't. So, I'm actually just about getting ready to install the cylinder onto the bottom of the case here. The jug onto the case. Looking pretty good. Everything seems to be going so far smooth. No major problems yet. So, yeah. I'm actually just getting ready to crack open that gasket. See what we got in here for... Look at that, more stickers. Uh... The rest of it, I'm imagining that the circle one is for the head, and this other one here is for the uh, base, so we should be able to stick her out of that pretty quickly. But, <clears throat> but the hardest part of so far all this has been is just trying to get those two little clips in to hold the uh, wrist, wrist pin on, just a pain in the balls to do. But anyway, enough talking. We go ahead, put the cylinder head on, and uh, not the cylinder head, but the cylinder itself on the jug, and take it from there. Awesome. All right, so I got the uh, jug and the cylinder all somewhat in. Well, the jug is the cylinder, but I got it all uh, on. So I'm just actually getting ready to go have some lunch, but I was just getting ready to go pick up the cylinder head here, getting ready just to uh, I'll just throw it on real quick. And I lift up and I'm like, oh, fuck. What is this? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This this isn't for this. And I, I made sure of it, you know, completely different size. I'm like, oh, this is from that Briggs and Stratton from the other week there. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I forgot like a ring or something. I'm like, oh, I know there's only two of them on there. But I got the, uh, like I said, you get everything all on, gaskets on, so yeah, time for some lunch and uh, we'll get back, we'll throw a cylinder head on and then we'll throw a head gasket on, we'll actually throw a head gasket on first and we'll throw the cylinder head on, so yeah. So the uh, motor is starting to look more like a motor as you can tell. Got the head on, got the exhaust flange on with the gasket. Got the oil pump cover with the gasket on. 
Uh, a little bit concerned about whatever this is, not quite sure what's well, supposed to go there. Hopefully we'll figure that out along the way. It's threaded, so obviously something screws in there. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, get the reeds in. Get the uh, intake manifold on, I guess we can call it. Just a little rubber flange, I guess. Uh, get the oil tube run and plumbed with the special banjo bolt. So it's looking pretty good. I'm actually just getting ready to start on the front now. Start to scrape off the old RTV silicone gasket that's on here. And then I will go ahead and start, uh, re start installing the new uh, starter motor. So that will be next. It's coming out pretty good. You know, taking... Actually, I'm doing pretty good time. It's 4 o'clock and this is as far as I've gotten. So I thought I'd be expecting a little bit worse. But I'd say tomorrow we could probably get this thing on the... Um, on the uh, chassis and possibly maybe do a fire up no guarantees I mean there could be still some stuff missing I haven't fully figured out some stuff like for instance the coolant hoses and obviously there's a few other oddball stuff and I just know I gotta, something's gonna happen there where they're supposed to get plumbed in I don't know I'm thinking that's what that hose is for Well, would you look at that? I just solved another mystery. I guess that goes like that. And I probably should have... Oh, don't tell me this was supposed to go on before that. Ah, crap. I gotta figure that out now. Son of a bitch. It's like a super duper crazy puzzle. You know, like a jigsaw puzzle. Not only this one, it's got like nuts and bolts and hoses and aluminum parts and... Holy, but I, I've done pretty good on trying to find most of these bolts. The guy did a pretty good job of keeping all the bolts separate and everything. Um, you know, so I, I'm doing pretty good. These are all the baggy bolts, like the top row bags is the stuff that I removed. And these bottom bags is what he's removed. And then there's just a few oddball nuts and bolts and stuff in here. I'm sure we'll figure what these out go to along the way, you know. And then there's a few parts here and there. So I actually did notice a few things that I can. I can call up the uh, dealership there that I bought the parts from. I'm going to call them up Monday. Tell them that I don't need a couple of other parts I ordered that I no longer need. Like this gasket here was fine. Um, there was like a certain bolt that I used. Uh, a few other parts here and there. So I'm actually saving money along the way I guess. So that's pretty good. But everything's looking pretty good. All right, well, we got the starter on, we got the recoil housing on, we got the brackets on, we got that stupid ass friggin' hose that almost was a pain in the ass to get on. <laughs> you know, I thought for sure I was gonna have to take apart this whole cylinder jug, but no, 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 I was able to get her in, but it wasn't easy. So, I think the motor is basically all assembled it other than putting the exhaust on, the coolant hoses, and the uh, carburetor. So, I'd say the engine's all done. Um, I mean, basically, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get the uh, ATV in here, get the chassis in here, and maybe do a fire up on it. Um, no guarantees, though, because I'm still... Kind of sort of waiting for parts. I'm not sure if some of those parts I'm on, I'm on a need to get the motor to run. So we'll have to wait and see. I, I don't think I need any parts really. I should be able just to pop the wiring on. I have the solenoid. Um, you know, I have basically everything I think I need to fire up. So I think tomorrow we'll mount this baby into the chassis. And maybe we'll try and fire up for the first time. Not bad work for just one whole week. Well, I've only had the quad for one week now, and it's looking pretty good. So, what do you know? But I've only been working on the quad now for, I don't know, maybe eight hours in total, if that. So, it's looking pretty good. Just waiting on more parts still. But I think that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, even though it wasn't much of a video, just basically assembling an engine 
you know. Uh, if I knew more about doing this, I'm, I mean, I'm basically just winging it right now. If I knew more, maybe I'd show you guys how to do it, but I, I'm just lucky enough that I got by of where I'm at right now. <laughs> you know, holy. Wow. Noise up. So, I mean, everything seems to be going pretty good. I gotta admit, all the bolts are going in the right holes, everything else like that. So, like I said, hopefully tomorrow we'll get this guy in the chassis. So, anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys all have a good day, and uh, we'll see you then. See you then. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who comes up with this shit? <laughs>